What's up everybody, welcome back to Shoe Ride Live. My name is Joe, today we have the dagger. As you can see, we are empty, there is no magazine. We're gonna be shooting this today. I'm not gonna do a huge long review on it, there's a bunch of videos on it already. And if you're not familiar with what the Palmetto State Dagger is, the Palmetto State Armory basically took the Gen 3 Glock 19 and made it their own. They reshaped the grip so that it's a little bit better in your hand. I can tell you it is definitely more comfortable, 100%. They did some work on the slide to lighten it a little bit. There is a stainless steel guide rod that is included and also metal sights right off the bat. And yes, of course, it does take Glock mags. It comes with one 15 round P mag. One thing that I will agree with with a lot of other people who have already done videos on the dagger is the trigger. The trigger is basically like mashed potatoes. It's soft and it's squishy. And yeah, that's like the best thing that comes to mind. Maybe that's just because I'm an overweight dude is, is mashed potatoes. That's, that's what the trigger is like, mashed potatoes. But it's not like there aren't a hundred companies out there that make drop-in triggers that'll fit these. It's all Gen 3 Glock part compatible. So that's not really a big deal. The other thing is, is that you need to keep in mind, you're talking about a gun that's 299 that already comes with metal sights, a metal guy rod, a nice comfortable grip. And one thing that I really wanna stress is there's a lot of just ridiculous FUD that goes on in the 2A community for some reason about, oh yeah, you gotta upgrade this and upgrade that and you know, trigger snobs and all of that crap. Here's the deal, don't listen to that crap. If you buy a 299 dagger or something that's 279 or something that's 249 or whatever, that's in the lower end of cost, for a firearm and you go to the range and you practice with it and you can put your shots where you want them and you're proficient with that, that's all that matters. Having a great precision, snappy, crispy trigger doesn't matter if you can use what you have proficiently already. So don't listen to all that garbage. If you buy it and you practice with it and you really feel like you could be better with it if it had a better trigger, okay, go ahead, upgrade the trigger. I am on my way to Douglas Ridge Ref Club right now and we are going to just run this thing. I have not done anything with it. It's right out of the box. It's not going to be a huge accuracy thing. I'm just going to go down here. I've got the one 15 round PMEG that comes with it. I have six 17 round Glock mags. I have six 33 round Glock mags and one 33 round ETS mag. And I'm just, I'm just going to run them. power baby I was really iffy on doing this because it's gonna be an expensive video but you know what I'm just gonna do it real fast and get it over with kind of like ripping a band-aid off real fast and you know that's just the way it's gonna have to be we're almost there we'll get set up and we'll shoot this thing so remember how I said that this was gonna be an expensive video well, it just got more expensive because I forgot to load the 15 round PMEG that comes with the dagger and I didn't bring other ammunition with me because all of the other mags were already loaded. So I'm actually going to take the rounds out of my EDC, my golden sabers, and the first magazine will be the 15 round PMEG that comes with the dagger with hollow point golden sabers in it. <laughs> Ouch! <sighs> Well, it was my bad. Okay, so I got everything laid out. So you can see all the magazines are here. I transferred the Golden Sabers into the Dagger P-Mag. So that's the first magazine that we're gonna put through it. And then I'm just gonna start running all the other ones. So let's do this.
So I do want to say real quick that this grip, the way that they have it molded with these humps right here and this cut right here and that finger groove, it's very comfortable. Okay. Shooting good so far though, but that trigger mashed potatoes. I'm a potato. I didn't do the math. Somebody do the math for me in the comments real quick. How many rounds this is. Uh, 115, 617, and 733. I don't feel like mapping today.
So that's it. Um, she is hot and no problems. No failures to feed, uh, no failures to eject, no stove pipes, nothing straight out of the box. And uh, besides the trigger, I'm extremely impressed for $299. This is awesome. I'm, let me get this cleaned up and get out of here. It's the air conditioning's not working and it is hot. So I'll meet you outside. So this video did turn out to be a little bit more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. If you could do me a favor and at least just drop a like or a dislike either way and leave a comment on there, that helps out a bunch. What are my thoughts? No problems whatsoever. It ran smooth. The grip was nice and smooth. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I did start to get a little bit of fatigue in my right hand, so I started switching up hands, switching grips. No matter how I was holding it, it was definitely comfortable. But man, mashed potato trigger. I definitely would have to get used to that trigger. Uh, I am probably gonna get a hold of Apex and see if maybe we can get a different trigger for it. If I was going to recommend an upgrade for it, it absolutely would be the trigger. But that's one of the reasons that they can get you a good reliable pistol at a $299 cost point. Maybe the trigger will work in a little more after some more shooting, it's very possible. But the trigger, definitely the trigger uh, needs to be polished up or replaced. Um, in my opinion, you may like it. Overall, for $299, I really don't know if you could get something better. It, You saw it, it ran perfectly. Uh, if there were any issues, it was for me flinching. Um, because of the trigger, there just weren't any issues. So it's really comfortable to shoot. I really like it. That's it, it is hotter than Satan's butthole right now. I'm gonna go home to my air conditioning. So I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe with She Ride Live, I'm out.